hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Halima if you're new to my channel welcome if you're a return viewer extra welcome thank you for coming back to watch me okay so on today's tutorial it's gonna be just a simple makeup look specifically for beginners okay people just people who just want to learn the basic skills of applying makeup so it's gonna be a simple quick makeup okay step by step okay so if you want to learn more continue on watching so i always before i do anything okay I, i'd love to get into this habit of always cleansing my face even though my face is clean already but I've, I, I just want to get into the habit of making sure making sure i clean any residue of oil before i actually go on to the main products that i'm going to use okay so i'm going to start by cleansing my face with this garnier um marisol cleansing water so i'm going to use that to clean my face to remove any impurities any oil any excess you know anything within the environment that i may have caught up within my skin so i'm just going to pour a little bit onto my cotton wool and so that's it there and then i'm just going to use it to clean my face oh it's very nice so you just gently just swerve it on your face okay and then around the eye area this product is, is good to use for sensitive skin it's stated combination and oily skin remove makeup cleanses and emetifies the skin you don't need to rinse out basically so Oh my hair sorry about that guys okay so that's done okay so now I'm going to move on to the moisturizer so I'm going to put a moisturizer before I put my primer then my setting spray then we go on to the foundation so guys any beginners who are watching this tutorial and want to learn how to apply makeup kindly watch the steps because it's very important that you know the main concept of the routine of how to get a very nice soft radiant glow you know makeup setting that will last you all day the main concept of makeup is knowing the beginning the beginning steps if you know the steps the initial step then obviously you can move on and learn all the um, other skills as you go along but if you don't know the basic steps it's very hard okay so we've cleaned we cleanse the face okay now i'm going to use my olay um Brighten and protecting cream and it contain SPF 20 okay so luminous it says on here so I'm just gonna put a little bit on my, a little, just a little tiny amount something like that okay and that's it there and I'm just gonna you know put it on the skin and just massage so we're just doing a just a brief massage guys so always concentrate around the eye area because you know when you put your concealer um you want everything to uh, you know stay in place and it also helps your makeup to last long and it doesn't avoid any creasing and things like that okay so and give your face a nice little massage before you actually go into your makeup okay guys so i'm done with this so now we're going to move on to the next step so the next step what i use okay guys this is how i do my makeup if you follow this step it may also help you okay and to, to get your makeup basic skills up in you know high hierarchy so i always like to spray my face before i go on with actual you know the um what is it called the base you know so this is my first base and then i'm gonna go on with another base and then my foundation so i always like to spray my face with this mac prep and prime okay fix so i just spray a little bit out and then spray my face with that i'll leave it to sink into my skin okay then i am going to follow up with that with um face studio prime by maybelline so this is my number one 
primer that I love for all my videos I use this primer so so it's very good I love it it really really when you put it on and you put your makeup on it really make your make makeup last all day so I'll give it a bit of a shake because I've not used it for a while so I'm just going to take a little tiny amount so something like that would do and then I'm going to you know whilst my face is a bit still a bit semi wet I'm just going to massage it in okay okay guys so that is done and I'm happy with that so now now we put our base we cleanse our face we put the uh, setting spray on it's your choice you could just keep that and just go straight forward and put um you know a base on the same thing you're good to go but i just preferred both of it actually so now I'm, i've done all these three steps i'm now going to put my foundation so the foundation that i am going to use okay i'm going to put my foundation before i do my eyebrow because i just want um this, these people that want to learn the concept of um the big steps of makeup the eyebrow is always optional to do it before or after you know but i want you guys should know that you can actually put your foundation on before you do your eyebrow and you do your eyeshadow and all that it's still the same it doesn't sometimes is it it's even better because when you put your foundation and you get some of the eyebrow around the uh, eyebrow area it, it really makes your um eyebrow more you know more firmer if i should say and more products can get, get can get into it okay so enough enough of the chit chat <laughs> so before i like to take my beauty blender and i am going to wet this beauty blender a little bit it helps if you if the beauty blender is selling so guys like i was saying um you need to get your um, beauty blender slightly wet in order to apply the foundation because it helps to you know lock in um the foundation within within your skin on your skin as per se okay so i'm going to take this my um prep and prime and i'm just going to spray um my beauty blender actually i'll spray it away from the camera because i don't want the you know the liquid to go into the camera and um, so i've wet i wet it slightly okay so it's just slightly dumped and i am going to now the skin is all prep as you guys can see and foundation shaped a little bit and the foundation that i'm using today is um my new foundation by fenty beauty so i'm going to use that and it's the pro fits pro filter um matte soft matte long wear foundation um like a full coverage so that's the fenty beauty so i'm just going to square some of my you know forehead the side the chin and then a little bit onto my beauty blender and i am going to blend that in gently okay just focus around the edges I chose to do my my full face before um, I'm going to do my eyebrow. If it's, if you're a beginner, like I stated initially, it's a choice. You can either do it before you put your foundation on, or you can do it after. You know, it just depends on the individual. But somebody that is learning how to do makeup, I will highly recommend that you focus on the main steps the basic the foundation of your um skills you make sure you grasp the knowledge before you go on to the main technical side of makeup because makeup is you know is versatile and you know there's so much so many i should say so many um details and so many like things the things that you need to know and you obviously can't learn everything in one day but if you know if you know the basic of how to pry and prep the skin you know how to apply foundation and all that it makes it easier you know 
to advance into um, higher level okay so as you guys can see this foundation is gone on very well so don't forget your chin area it's always important to apply around here it's very very important because I find that some people do apply makeup and they forget to do it under their chin and you see them outside and they feel like it looks like they've got a mask on you know you don't want that to happen you know you need to like I said focus on the basic so I hope the new beginners or anybody learning how to do makeup watch this tutorial and learn something from it okay so guys it looks like my foundation is well done in so i'm just going to take a little mirror to so i'm just looking in the mirror down here to make sure it's all done how i like it to be okay so that is done okay just how i like it to be obviously we're going to go in with other products so everything is just going to lock in beautifully okay so i'm not going to go into um highlights and contour i'll go into contour later but this concept of this tutorial is basically a simple beginner friendly tutorial that will be easy for someone to be able to learn you know so the highlighting and contour is more like intermediate level obviously i'll do another video i'm gonna do another specific video based on you know um highlighting and contour i think i have already done that actually yeah i have done actually done um highlight and contour well i'll leave the link in my description box below so you guys can check it out if you're interested but i may do update it because every day there's a different skills coming out in regards to makeup you know so i might do updated one but i think i have done and i'll leave the link for you guys to check it out later so what i'm going to be doing now is my eyebrow okay i'm going to do my eyebrow and then once I'm done with my eyebrow, I'm going to go on to eyeshadow. And then once I'm done with the eyeshadow, we just complete the look. So guys, stick around. Um, if you like what you see so far, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Where you say subscribe, the red button, hit it right now and subscribe to my channel. So we can, you know, you can learn more skills like what you're learning today because from time to time i'll be coming up with some nice tutorials product reviews and things like that so you need to keep up hit that not notification button the bell so you you know you get regular update from me each time i upload new videos okay guys let's get on with the the skills okay so i'm going to be using max factor face infinity all day flawless concealer okay so i'm going to use that specifically around to define the eyebrow however before I do that I'm going to take another brush to brush my eyebrow up okay so I'm just brushing the air just brushing my eyebrow to give it that fluffy nest look which I'm not gonna go in depth with it but I just want to briefly show you guys the concept of it so I'm brushing it up okay and nicely brushed up and then I am going to use a concealer okay um sorry not a concealer but say I'm going to use a mascara the reason why I'm going to use mascara is just to define eyebrow if you have if you don't have a bushy eyebrow like mine you can just use a pencil I misplaced my pencil so I don't really know where it is sorry guys so you can use a pencil to define the area like I said I'm going to do another specific tutorial on eyebrow you know updated version of eyebrow how to define your eyebrow if you less if you have less eyebrow air okay so right now i'm just going to use the mascara to um define the look sorry i'm just gonna i'm looking for my mirror the bigger mirror so that i can hold it okay so guys i'm just using this to just um basically define the eyebrow because I misplaced my black pencil okay so as you guys can see you see the difference already so it's a just such a gentle movement just to brush the eyebrow and then I'm moving on to the next eyebrow just gently 
brushing it up with your mascara okay I'm coming close to you for you guys to see exactly what I'm doing okay so the same goes to this one okay so that is defined nicely okay and then I am going to take my concealer and just a little bit of the concealer into a brush and then I am going to use that to apply around the edges of my eyebrow to just give it a bit of definition and then we will just quickly just do a brief eyeshadow and then once we're done with the eyeshadow just a you know a bit of powder and then we close the tutorial we come to the end of it okay so I'm taking a mirror and I've taken a brush with the flat end as you, as you guys can see it's just any there's no specific name to this brush um it's just my own little brush that i got from amazon okay so it's got the flat end specifically to to define the edges of your eyebrow so it's just going to be a quick one okay so i'm just going to go in just like this and while i'm at it i might as well just um Put the concealer around my eye, um, eyelid so that I'll be getting it ready for the eyeshadow. So I'm just basing my eyelid. As you guys can see, see that little definition there? The eyebrow. Okay, so if I come closer. Okay, so just use the SS product to base your eyelid in order to get your eye ready for your eyeshadow. Okay, so we just blend that in and then do the top part. So this is just a brief little eyebrow just to you know make sure that we all ready for our next step okay guys so I am now ready for my eyeshadow I'm happy with that guys very happy okay so i'm now ready for my eyeshadow so the eyeshadow that i'm going to use today is um an old eyeshadow or not an old eyeshadow i should say it's like i've had this uh, make eyeshadow palette for a very long time and i've not actually made any use of it much so i thought today when i'm going to be doing this simple um everyday kind of makeup tutorial why not take the advantage and use it so it's called victoria jackson as you guys can see and those are the colors it's quite pretty colors and um, those are the colors there so I've had this for a very long time I can't really remember how long I've had it and I don't really remember how I got it I just remember having it but I really can't remember how I obtained it I'm sure probably I got it as a present or I bought something from some shop and I managed to get it so so now I'm going to take an eye you know detail blending little brush so the brush that i'm taking today is my real techniques so i think it's a real techniques on it yeah real techniques 3 307 rt 307 okay so for the eyeshadow you, you need something that will be easy to blend in smoothly to your um eyelid so i decided to take this it's got that fluffy ends okay so guys so the look I'm just going for a simple one so I've decided to go with this 
very kind of like um orangey light orange color here this specific one that's the one i'm going for so let's see how that is gonna look on my eyelid so i'm just gonna start around here the corner of my eyelid and just gently blend that in yeah just look in the mirror so i'm just gently blending that in it's a very nice color actually i don't know if you guys can see it very well on the camera but it looks really nice so i'm just generally with a very nice soft movement hand movement just blending that in okay all around my eyelid i'm slightly blending it to the top because it's a very light orangey color so it will be not noticeable that much so it's something that you can obviously have it during the day so just the one that simple makeup to go out with okay so i'm gonna do that ne the next eye so the same sort of movement okay so you start at the corner your eye and just gently work your way into the the inner corner oh I love this color it's like an autumn kind of brownish orangish look so beautiful okay so that is coming out pretty well just how I would want it to be okay so always make I always make sure I always gauge it from where my eyebrow and so wait sorry where it starts this side and then this side I always make sure everything is in line and just you know follow your eye for your follow your eye shape basically that's the concept of it just follow your face shape, follow your eye shape. Yeah. Makeup is like an art. If you if you're very good at art, then you'd be extremely good at um applying makeup. This is skills. Okay guys, so I've done that and I'm happy with that. I'm happy with this um look, okay? So and I'm gonna take another brush because I really want um I'm gonna take another brush and I'm just gonna use a darker color just to just around my my crease area just to lift up my eye bone a little bit and give me a bit more definition okay so i'm going to take another brush i'm just taking another fluffy eyebrow brush not eyebrow brush as per se eyeshadow brush pardon me so i'm going to take a brown because i think this color so i'm taking this brown here okay i think this orangey she's gonna go with a nice brown so just dusting the rest off because i don't want any fallout okay and then i'm just basically just going to just define this side a little bit just a semi part of it just give me a nice you know shadow So that smooth hand movement is very important. I hope you guys can see it, yeah? Is it noticeable? It is very noticeable. So just up here somewhere, and just work your hand gently. So it's just up around the crease area, just to give you a bit more eye lifting, uplifting, as you say. So if you have like a hoodie eye, this will be perfect because it's just going to lift your, you open your eyes. Just 
move this to the edge okay guys I'm happy with this okay if you guys are happy I'm, I'm also happy and I think it is good from this angle it looks well good I'm happy with that okay so I'm just gonna take the other brush that I, I initially used for the orange okay for the real techniques and I'm just gonna use that to clean the edges and just you know moving it down you know my eye with the waterline okay okay so now i am going to i'll come back to the waterline just to make sure but right now what i wanted to do is i want to put a, just a little bake around my eyelid actually before i do that you know what i'll do i'm gonna throw in the bonnet to show some of you guys um you know a quick um highlighting okay so i'm just gonna put a little um highlight down here okay just to you know so that when i put the bake it's just gonna make my eye more pop up okay so i'm taking the same beauty blender that i initially used and i'm just gonna smooth that in guys I'm looking for my mirror okay okay I think that's great okay so now I'm gonna put a quick powder on then we're gonna move on to the final um look okay so the powder i'm going to just semi use to finish the look is um body shop powder and is called savannah beacon matte clay powder full coverage press powder and this is what it looks like from the body shop okay so i'm just gonna swerve a little bit this is the first time i'm using the body shop um you know products makeup products as best say so wish me luck <laughs> so I'm just gonna take a little bit okay and just use it to blend everywhere okay this color as per se what color is it um it's a XT301 MF that's the color it says I think that's what they mean by their color I don't know but it looks really nice i like the how it, it, it blends in with it you know with this foundation that i've used the fenty pro matte foundation pro filter foundation okay so that is done and now I am going to move on to the next product. So the next product I'm going to be using, guys, just to finish the look because, after all, this look is specifically a simple, everyday makeup look, um, beginners friendly. So it's just a quick one. So I'm just going to quickly take another detailed brush, and I am going to use this. So what I'm going to be using now is actually um, bronzer. Um, the collection shimmery lights brown bronzer glow okay so that's what it looks like so I'm just gonna use a bit of that with my real techniques 402 brush it's got a bit of fluffy ends to it okay so I'm just gonna take a little bit of that I'm just gonna use it to 
blending with my skin, forehead, you know, nose area, chin. You know, just define those specific areas and just give a bit of shimmeriness to it. Okay. Now we're going to take another big brush and I'm going to use that to spread everywhere. So I'm taking the same real techniques. Okay, so guys, so that's what I aim for. It's just a simple everyday, you know, makeup. So that's what I want. So now to summarize the look, okay, and just give our face a bit of a definition, okay, I am going to basically take my, uh, what am I looking for? We're now going to move on um, to the, you know, a bit of highlights and then we call it a day okay so the highlight that i'm going to use today is my fenty um kilowatts um ginger bench highlights and i'm just going to use that just to give my face a bit of a light and then we closed come to the end okay so just placing a bit a bit of that on my chin side forehead and just a bit on my cheek here give me a bit of shine so this is enough this is how i want it to be it's beautiful and now last not the least i'm going to take another brush with this kind of shape and see if you guys can see the you know like a edge and i'm gonna use that to take one some of the uh, eyeshadow i'm gonna just apply underneath my waterline just to give my eyes a bit more definition then i'm gonna put a mascara and um you can choose to put a lashes on and you know and so on so i'm gonna put a lashes on so i'm gonna use the same color i initially used for my eyeshadow this color here i'm just gonna take a little bit i'm gonna blow off the excess and i'm just gonna use that to work underneath my waterline so okay that looks really nice already okay so the same goes with these eyes That's really beautiful. Okay, guys, I like that. Okay, so once that is done, I'm just going to take this little detail brush and just make sure sweep away any residue of the eyeshadow. That is nicely gone. Um, and then we're just going to basically summarize and um, look you can choose to basically put um so i'm just taking a little of my a little bit of my bake which is called pure bake just to basically go around this side to give you a bit more light guys i'm just going to take a bit of more of the highlighter and just you know work around my cheek i really want my i like i like when my when my cheeks are pop up nicely and I just love this um, Fenty Freestyle um, Kilowatts, you know, highlighter. It's really nice. It's my favourite. So just taking a bit of that, just making sure I'm blending to my eyebrow area. Yeah, 
so that is complete done so now i'm going to put the lashes she's out on now okay so i'm just going to summarize the look okay i'm going to quickly put an eyeliner um lip liner and then um we complete the look okay so i'm just going to put a lip liner so i'll start from the top And I'm just going to go with this simple, um, sort of like a not so bright colour, just a nude-ish um, lip gloss. So guys, this is my end look of my simple everyday makeup look, okay? I hope you guys enjoy watching this tutorial. If you do enjoy watching it, kindly subscribe to my channel hit the notification button so you get regular updates each time i upload new videos like share the video among your friends and comments and that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching bye bye